to Rex calling in from New Jersey. Rex, you're on Free Talk Live. Go ahead with your thoughts. Hi, guys. How you doing? Good. Good. Thank, you for the, thank you for having me on the line. Yep, go um, ahead with your thought, thoughts. Uh, oh, I just thought uh, we could talk about the flat earth a little bit. I don't know if you guys... Uh, really <laughs> That's Chris's favorite subject. <laughs> I, I love the idea of a flat earth. What, what it would make things on, so simple. What, what are your thoughts on the donut earth theory to where the earth is flat, round, and hollow all at the same time? You know, uh, I haven't looked into the hollow earth enough. It doesn't seem to me to have a lot there. I can't discount it necessarily because I really haven't looked into it. And as far as the uh, donut, as far as it being flat and round like a coin, yeah, with Antarctica around the edge and all that. Okay. Um, but what do you guys make of all the, the oh. media, well, with the, the way they cover it lately? Like Bill Maher, Tosh.0, oh, Jimmy Kimmel. What, the flowers? I, 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 I haven't really followed this stuff. Was, was, but I, I do have a question for you, and this has kind of been brewing in my mind for the last few weeks. And it turns out a few people have done it already, but I think I want to do it too. I would like to do a Kickstarter or GoFundMe to uh, sponsor an expedition to the edge. Uh, travel down to Antarctica. Keep we going until go. keep going until we get to the edge of the ice wall, and take some kind of a selfie there, demonstrating that it finally has been located, found, and then You're problem solved. Have to be familiar. No, yeah, I can Are already... you familiar with the Antarctic Treaty? My whole with the fifty nations that have signed on to that. To well, I, I make hope it to limits for everybody else. That's okay. I hope to raise at least. A million dollars, and have I to. have lots of para. Wait, let me share my thought real quick. I have a friend of mine, right? Him and his, he goes to college. They built a carbon fiber rocket, right? And it was recently reached a max altitude of 144,000 feet. So it broke the world record for the highest performing student designed rocket. It had a camera on it. So you can see the earth is round. Hold, hold your <laughs> thoughts, Rex. We'll be back. This <laughs> is Free Talk Live, 855 450 free. Being self reliant. Live. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. In studio, it's Daryl. And Tether. And Chris. And we've got a flat earther on the line, or at least somebody that I <laughs> Just... suspect to be a flat earther. He asked, Have you ever heard of the Antarctic Treaty? Yep. Yes. Yes, I have. So uh, that treaty. It allows for scientific discovery of Antarctica. It prohibits colonization and bans military activity on the continent. That's what the Antarctic Treaty Wait, does. can I say my can I can I repeat my little my little note here? Uh is it about Antarctica? No. <laughs> then we will go to Rex, who is calling in You're from right New on. Jersey. Rex, go ahead with your thoughts. Thank you. Um, you say that there's a video of uh, a rocket. You know, anything to put this to bed would be thankful to anybody because a lot of people find all this new information. It's by, it contradicts or goes against what the globe says. They want to put it to rest. So anything you can lend to that. Oh, yeah. It's cool. You can go on YouTube. It's called Fathom. Okay. There, it's called Fathom 2 like roman numerals okay. raw video so basically oh, what it is is it's a carbon fiber rocket that his research lab launched and it says it reached a max altitude of 144,000 feet uh and broke the world record for the highest performing student design build rocket in the world now mind you this is my friend Merritt. he's out in california and he's a libertarian so he's like Hates not, government. Probably not a government. Stage. No, he he. I met him. No, uh, no. I met him on tour with Adam Kokesh. So, <laughs> um, he's super awesome, and like it just goes to show you that you know libertarians were there's all kinds of us. You know, some of us are rocket scientists. You know, and um, the flat Earth thing totally debunks because there's this cool freaking video attached to this rocket and it's like you just see it going up in the clouds and all of a sudden it's just like floating in orbit and you can like see the earth and it's it's like one minute it's on the ground the next minute it's in space you know what i mean so it's you that can't... Too raw video i'm 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 looking it up because i look up every single possible thing you can look up on this flat earth because it's uh and to be honest it's like uh it, it 
how could it continue for this long? And, and why don't uh, why don't any of the media that talk down on it? Why don't they ever have a flat earther on the show well, to talk about it? The way they cover it was such condescending ridicule, not not actually having a real conversation. Well, I've I've looked so at ton, Harvard, ton, ton, tons Rex, and tons we're of video. Trying to have a real conversation with yeah. you. But I think what my point is, is let's let's actually let's take this one step beyond. Let's travel. And I I promise you, I I can do a a go. Everybody wants to go. I just got my passport. I I think, you know, you could get (laughs) enough people to fund the thing, you know, and it could be a GoFundMe that could it might take two or three or four years to go. But let's get a, a million, two million dollars raised. And let's let's get a real expedition going. Scientific reason that that fits the treaty perfectly, and we will uh, do a charter. And is there any reason why it couldn't be by aircraft? I'm not sure what the. I, to, to my understanding, it's off limits from the Antarctic Treaty. Okay, well, I, 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 it's only off limits to colonization. And military so you can activity. Fly. Anybody can anybody can fly that now. Well, huh? what I do know is there are commercial entities, and I looked these up after uh, a last conversation that was similar to this, where you can uh, hire, and it costs like fifty five thousand bucks for one person, uh, but they will get you down to Antarctica, and then you will get on another plane, and they will fly you to within twenty clicks of the South Pole. And then you ski the rest of the way, like cross-country ski. And there's an actual uh, a research center that is very, very close to the South Pole, the true South Pole. So I figure it's only got to be, like, what, another 20, 30 clicks to the edge if there is an edge. Ugh, so God. so that's what I'm saying is, is why can't and, and why haven't, uh, ha- hasn't somebody taken taken this expedition? And also to people that support the theory of the flat earth, are you willing to put your money where your mouth is? Are you willing to pitch in and raise the money to do Absolutely. this? Absolutely. There's, there's, there's flat earthers trying to do the same exact thing. Um, and uh, I'm going to have to call definite fisheye lens on this video that you recommended because the Earth's going inward and outward on a concave lens. So that's uh, not debunked at all. Well, there's a couple I'm other videos, too. The rocket too. didn't go up at 144,000. Sure, it looks like it did that. But the sun surely doesn't appear 93 million miles away in this video that I'm watching. Right. And the land goes con- concave. It's like a concave land. I mean, so that launch should have really a different have a type of lens. Too on much it. to be talking so down on it. That's what I mean. Everybody huh. seems to talk so down on this i mean my my, my friend it. my friend's a rocket scientist this isn't his first do you know what i mean like this is like what he does for a that's living a, is like study space right, and like the planet you know and, and the reason i that, tend that to be i'm not saying there's not rocket scientists i'm just saying but he's an expert in the industry are stuff. you gonna like w- like where is a credible flat earther right that has gone to a university and, and and studied this stuff and like you know not somebody that's just reading different articles on the internet or you know reading article uh, like treaties about antarctica about like where is somebody that Mark actually Sergeant studied Eric astronomy Dubay? and like well, all how- of these things you right know? or Mark somebody Sargent and eric dubay take on neil tyson and uh neil degrasse tyson and bill nye and we can settle this all well how, 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 how about, about me I... two people hold on who were the two people that you I mentioned before you yeah. Mark neil tyson? wait who Mark... are the two credible flat others that have oh there's he gave two names no, but mark like... Sargent is one is of them credible what's credible is nasa credible who is mark Sargent? you mentioned mark Sargent. who is he made he? a video about you guys yeah, the other th- day. this was he. I found you guys through him on YouTube. He's, a, he's one of the leading flat earthers. Remember the caller last week who was talking about flat uh-huh. earth? He had mentioned Mark Sargent. That's how I knew the name, and I, I looked into it there. So yeah. forget about I mean, Neil guys- deGrasse Tyson. How about me? I worked in satellite communications. Okay. Does does that qualify me, by me as having some understanding of at least Absolutely. the theory of a round earth? Absolutely. Does sure, it qualify yeah. me to say that if the earth is flat... Everything I work with daily for years doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? <laughs> How do you know you aren't communicating with um, antennas on the tops of buildings? Because were you ever at a satellite launch? Did you see one go up in the air yourself? Without going into the details of my clearance, I can assure you that I have intimate deta- intimate understanding of how these things work. 
Okay, and that's that's what we're so we're left with faith with you, faith of something you can't bring back. We're just supposed to believe. What like, what, 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 what is his motive for lying? <laughs> yeah, like, that's, you know that's what, what I, mean? I don't he understand. Has a motive. I'm not saying he has a motive, but the yeah, I think it, flat earthers are just upset themselves. because they don't have the clearance to know everything they want to know, so they start making oh, so up all you have of these to have clearance. So to hold know on, the flat hold earth on. is real. You have to have Rex. clearance. Rex, let me, let me ask this question. What <laughs> difference does it make if the Earth is round, flat, a square, if it looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, if it's actually a turtle? Okay. What difference does I'll it answer. make? I'll answer. What difference does it make? NASA's budget is $20 billion roughly a year. Yeah. The moon landings are not true. People's reality is funked up. There could be more land beyond the edge. There's supposed that maybe there's an edge, maybe there's a wall. Have you maybe ever... it continues to going. Hold on, but maybe that they're doesn't... hiding the true their big bang theories out the window with the flat earth. So mm -hmm. there's a way to hide God. It's a way to hide true real true reality. So mm -hmm. there's plenty of motive behind it. But why why even bother looking at all the motive? Let's just look at all the evidence. That's what and I'm we, trying no, to do. We don't ex we don't experience spinning. They tell us we spin. We don't experience um, flying through space, or and and there's supposedly a full called pendulum that goes around. I guarantee you, the like there's gonna However, be within the next like century, there's gonna be like rocket ship tours into space. Okay, mark my words. Hold on, sure. Rex. I think you've got more, and this is probably against my better judgment. But hold on, we'll bring you back. This is Free Talk Live. Eight. This is Free Talk Live. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got a flat earther on the line. <laughs> I, 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 sometimes when you say that, you make it sound like a derogatory term. We have a caller who's interested in speaking about the theory of the flat earth versus the spherical earth. And he seems to be someone who believes that the earth is flat. Uh, he has some reasons that he believes it. Uh, one of those reasons is NASA has a large budget, and I don't think that NASA should even exist as a Antarctica. federal agency. That's the other reason. Actually, you can visit Antarctica. Okay. Uh, the people that believe in flat Earth often say you can't, but I'm actually looking at a travel agency right now that has a variety of tours to Antarctica that range from $7,000 to $13,000. Well, that's pretty affordable. The ones I was looking at were, like I said, 55000 to get you to the South Pole. Uh, well, these don't get you to the South Pole. They right. will you know, take you to some of the uh, science stations right. on Antarctica. Uh, and again, they range from like 11 days to 20 days, all leaving out of Buenos Aires. Uh, your travel to Buenos Aires is not included here. Uh, and one of the questions is, do the tours take us on shore? The Zodiac takes travelers on excursions from the ship to the shore. You'll have the option of going to research stations, penguin colonies, and pebble beaches. You can also stay on the vessel if you don't feel like going out that day. So you actually can travel to Antarctica uh, let's bring Rex back on. Rex, you're back on Free Talk Live, and you were explaining some of the reasons you believe that uh, various people might be lying about the Earth being Hello? flat. Are you there, Rex? I don't know what happened. I think we... Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, there you are. You're there. Hi, guys. Hey. Yeah, so you, you were explaining why you think that people might be lying about the Earth being flat, and part hey, of hey, that guys. was NASA hey, guys, has a large budget. This, these tours, these tours you're talking about, yeah, they let you go to three guided tours. They don't let you just walk around the continent as you wish. Well, They don't let, they take you to your three places. You can go see the penguins. You can see the research center. I'm surprised you guys don't. Well, like, that's what I mean, to talk so down on something. And to not Just know because these I don't, like, these are all covered if you look into the flat uh, earth like deeply. All of this is covered. Hold on. So now, covered. now you're admitting that people can go to you Antarctica. Go to, uh, Earlier, you, you Antarctica. said you could they not. Don't. No, I didn't. I said you cannot take a 
uh, his one million dollar GoFundMe and go off with hundreds of and thousands of people to go off wherever you feel like going to, well, I mean, to look over the, the, the I said you couldn't do that. Okay. I didn't say Okay, you well, go to the free destinations. I mean, you can always to go. go to college and be a part of the people that control this stuff, you know? Like, well, you could be like, you a if, you're a flat, if you're a flat earther and you're interested in finding out if the earth is round or flat, then why not go to get a higher education in that area of research? Okay. And I, I'm well, going to put a, a plug out there. Do that, or you could just look at the information. You don't On really what? need to go like to if you don't trust, you, you don't trust that the government, you think the government's lying about the world being flat, then you think the government's you think gonna, the government you're going to trust that anything? all the information you need to prove that? The government lies about almost everything. The government controls okay, but not, the not, web, not the, not the space part of the government, right? The space part of the government never lies about anything. <laughs> right, but, but government doesn't control what people think about whether the earth is round or flat. So I'm, in addition to have worked in satellite communications, I'm also a ham radio operator. And I do things like earth, moon, earth communications. And I, I talk to satellites and, and I use satellites. Okay. Plenty of flat earthers are ham radio communicators. Okay. Um, so also I'd like to throw out a website called icetrek.com. I-C-E-T-R-E. I C E T R E K dot com. Trek. Okay. Yep. And they do uh, a, a variety of South Pole extreme ski expeditions, South Pole uh, aircraft expeditions. There, there are people that climb that mountain. And that's what the, I'm saying. Near, yeah. Near the South Pole. But my point is, is, you know, go fund me, send me your money. And if you guys <laughs> find the, the edge of the earth, then you keep the other half of whatever it costs to get there. And if you don't find the edge of the earth, I think me, as the one who came what up if, with the idea, should keep the 500000 extra or whatever that, that it happens to be. That idea has been raised by many people. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of flat earthers are trying to do the same exact thing. I appreciate you bringing it up, and that's a good idea. I but think so, too. To so, Rex, so, will, I mean, will you take a of, call? Let's keep going in the right direction. What will do you, you guys make of the, the media blitz on this in the last month, though? I don't know what Howard media Stern's blitz you're yeah, talking about. I have about. no idea what you're talking about. I don't you, own okay, a television. Well, I'll tell you about it. It's been, it's been a New York Post article. It was mentioned on Howard Stern for a few minutes. It was on Sports Nation due to Kyrie Irving. It was on Tosh.0 for four minutes. That's Bill Maher had six, had six <laughs> minutes about it on Politically Incorrect. Jimmy Kimmel asked Dave Chappelle about the flat earth. So that's all within the last three weeks. That's a media blitz. You it's, think it's, it's because funny. Shaq came it's out and said that the Earth is flat? Everybody real damage control because everybody's catching on to the flat Earth. Everybody knows. <laughs> I, I don't. But think is that because everybody is catching on? Rex, will you take a question from a caller? Absolutely. All Absolutely. right. Let's bring I Greg on. Greg, you're on Free Talk Live. Do you have a question for Rex? Who believes in a flat Earth? Hello, Greg. Hi, Greg. You're on Free Talk Live. Do you have a question for Rex, the flat earther? Doesn't sound like it, Greg. Uh, yeah, Thank you. Full call pendulum, yeah. The the It'll, pendulum. Okay. Uh something about a pendulum. Yes, full call pendulum. It supposedly shows the motion of the earth by spinning around. However, if you go and, and tap a tap a table with a glass of water on it that the water is completely still and if you tap it the lightest bit the water moves from the tap but it's not moving the rest of the time so pendulum keeps it all moving okay that's all i'm saying but what's your question uh he did not have a yeah. question i i thought his question was about a pendulum so are you oh, saying okay. that water never moves because every time i've ever gone to the ocean the water moves a lot sloshes back of and course forth. no i didn't say water doesn't move i said if a water sitting in a cup on your table it's not moving true okay so if you tap the table you'll see the water like jurassic park with the with the thing walking and it made the water uh move in the cup so okay but why why would the Earth's motion move a pendulum around, but well, not water? That's but the but it's not like you make the slightest movement on that table that water moves. I don't. But it's completely still. I don't have an opinion on that, but I do have a question. I'm not do sure the I've tides ever asked. Go in and out. I mean, is that not water moving? What? I've I've never asked a flat earther this question, but how does uh, a flat Earth work with gravity? So the theory gravity, of gravity. Um, the, tends to be you know it's it's based on mass that's our belief that mass ex 
exerts a force that we yeah. see as gravity. Absolutely. If the Earth were flat and thin, um, how does that, or does that just mean our measurements are off? No, flat Earthers don't really, um, the main flat Earth uh, thing is we don't really believe in gravity. Okay. Gravity is not a, not pulling everything to the center of a ball, like a basketball right. would pull water and land to it. It's just a flat, motionless plane. And what makes it, you know, it's density and buoyancy. So, like, a helium balloon goes up, but we're kept on the ground. Everything else is kept on the ground. It's Why? more dense. So like, you drop Why? a brick in water, it goes all the way down. Why? It's yeah. more dense. Why does the balloon go up if there's gravity? But that, isn't because that the whole point of, of... It's lighter than air. Yeah, it's lighter. It's lighter weight. It's air. the okay. weight's getting pulled and down. it's less dense than air, so it goes up. What do you need gravity for? I've never been asked that question, I can honestly say. <laughs> so I, I've got they another question. I, I've got denser. another question. Everything's denser. denser How do you explain magnets, is... though? Two magnets that stick together? That's not a gravitational pull? That's not. That's, that's a magnet. magnet. That's just two magnet dense system. things just that's happening what, that's to... What, that's what the world is. That's what... The world probably goes on it. I don't have it. I don't have every answer. I'm just looking yeah. for so, it. Yeah. Rex, I, I've got another question for you. Uh, we're almost out of time for the hour. Uh, are the other planets in the solar system also flat? Um, wouldn't know to, to what they are. However, Is there a they're probably not spherical terraform of planets that you can land on like in matt when matt damon flies to mars that's all propaganda that can't happen it's a that, light that, in the that sky. was a movie like tom no. sawyer right. i understand what you're and saying a team yeah i understand i know it's a movie and it's not happened yet i know that i'm just right. saying my, that's all my question so you, we all accept the mission to mars when it happens in 10 years my, my question was if the you earth is flat is it, why are, are the, the other planets, planets not why are the other planets not Yes. Um, the other planets aren't even, like we don't we understand them as planets that you can like land on and stuff. But Rex, thank you for the call. This is free.